In a major announcement, NASA has revealed the discovery of water ice on the sun's surface of the moon. Now the discovery is being seen as a big boost for NASA's plans to establish a permanent lunar base by the end of the decade. Effectively, it means journeys to the lunar surface might not need to take water for drinking, now conversion into hydrogen fuel, and for other purposes. The space agency says that frozen water molecules have been spotted by infrared telescopes aboard the SOFIA, the world's largest flying observatory aboard a Boeing 747SP aircraft. Signs of water on the moon have been found before too, but today's announcement details the first unquestionable discovery. Scientists are now saying that lunar water is more widespread than previously known, and water molecules on the moon are trapped within mineral grains on the surface. And more water perhaps hidden in ice patches residing in permanent shadows. Now, NASA says that the water likely arrived on the moon via one of two ways. It may have been carried there by radiation known as the solar wind or tiny meteorites. The molecules discovered are equivalent to a 12 ounce bottle of water within a cubic meter of lunar soil. Now, they were found within the the uh, Clavius crater, located at the southern hemisphere of the moon, the space agency estimates that water can be found on nearly 38,000 square kilometers of area on the moon's satellite. It is unclear, though, whether this water will be mineable by future astronauts or not. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.